Super Mario Odyssey is a brilliant game where you discover a huge amount of awesome secrets across a ton of new worlds. It seems Nintendo hit something amazing in every inch of this game, so here are a bunch of the coolest tiny details and easter eggs we've found so far. As long as his tops and bottoms match, every costume Mario wears has a matching 2D version when you pop into a side-scrolling area. When you approach an NPC or an item of interest, Mario will turn his head to look at them. Good looking out, Mario! Mario's clothes can be visually affected in several ways. If he gets lit on fire, they'll be burned. If you jump at a frozen lake, his clothes will get frosted. And if you roll around in the Sand Kingdom, he gets dirty. What a time to be alive! If Mario doesn't move for a while, he'll fall asleep. As the plumber naps, a bird will occasionally land on his nose. The bird takes on different forms and colors depending on what world you're in. Furthermore, Mario won't sleep in certain environments unless he's wearing the appropriate attire. But if you have him sleep on the couch in the comfort of the Odyssey, he'll start to snooze much quicker. No bird, unfortunately. I guess they keep the windows closed. Hitting a cactus with your hat will give you a coin, but if you see a group of cacti and you hit them just right to create a domino effect, you'll earn bonus coins. If you bounce on the Odyssey's globe, you'll hear a music box version of the Cascade Falls theme. If you do this after completing the main mission in New Donk City, it'll switch to Jump Up Superstar. When throwing Mario's hat using the Joy-Con's motion controls, Mario will spin a different way depending on whether you flick the right one or the left one. The front door isn't the only way to enter the Odyssey. You can enter through the roof hatch or even the tailpipe. There are a handful of musical easter eggs in just the Metro Kingdom alone. The music in the game room is the same music from the secret card games found in Super Mario Bros. 3. When you start an RC race, you'll be treated to the music from Super Mario Kart. A rooftop pool area has a boombox that plays the first level music from Super Mario World. And if you hit the boombox with your hat, it switches to the Japanese version of Jump Up Superstar. Finally, in the town hall, the band plays the classic World 1-1 music from the original Super Mario Brothers. If you run Mario's face into a cactus on the Sand Kingdom stage, he will have cactus needles sticking from his nose. Ouch! When Mario gets a regular moon, he uses one of three hand gestures that reference previous Mario games. He'll either throw a peace sign for Mario 64, an open palm for Mario Sunshine, or a closed fist for Mario Galaxy. Almost every outfit Mario wears is a reference to something in Mario's past, whether it's really old Super Game Boy commercials, games that Mario has once appeared in, or even wacky 3DS ads. Every time Mario takes part in a minigame, such as jump roping or volleyball, a tiny picture of Mr. Game & Watch accompanies it, representing that challenge. New Donk City includes countless references to the Donkey Kong games, such as stores being named after Diddy Kong, or the fact that every street sign is named after a character from the series. Even cooler is that the cars all have Donkey Kong's original release printed on them. If Mario does something out of the ordinary, NPCs will occasionally reward you with special text boxes. These stem from acts like jumping on a sphinx's head, breaking this poor man's RC car, or even ignoring boss fights. Mario can ground pound into tubes to enter them faster. It even plays a sped up tube entrance jingle when you do this. When you pause the game, Mario will react differently when highlighting different options, such as splitting him and his hat apart when selecting two players, or having Mario stretch when selecting Action Guide. Most Kingdom citizens are terrified of Mario's transformations. They will cower in fear when you approach them even as a cheap cheap. To be fair, it's pretty terrifying. Inside the Odyssey, if you look very closely, you can see that a partially covered top view map of Babam Battlefield, the first stage from Mario 64, is visible. If you can angle the camera correctly, you can also spot that Hint Toad is holding that map as well. Those were just some of our favorite Easter eggs and secrets we've found so far in Super Mario Odyssey. Let us know your favorites in the comments, and for more videos like these, check out the one we did for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and for everything else Nintendo, keep it right here on IGN.